एंड वेलकम टू माई फर्स्ट इंस्टाग्राम आई जी टी वी वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ वॉट आई हैव पोस्टेड अर्लियर ओवर इन इंस्टाग्राम एंड देर हैड बीन अ फ्यू क्वेरीज अबाउट हाउ डिड आई एडिट माई फोटो सो हियर इज़ द फोटो दिस इज़ द फोटो ऑफ अ रिसेस मैक एंड दिस वॉज क्लिक बैक इन द सुंदरबंस इन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन एंड इट वॉज मेड इन क्वाइट ऑफ द बिट इवनिंग लाइट्स बिकॉज it was made when i went to the wash tower there is one wash tower called the sudarna khali wash tower and they are they are find in abundance and you can photograph them with very ease because they are quite friendly and give them give you ample time uh, to photograph them so yeah here we go so as we see the lights are more on the background rather than on the image itself and as you can notice that the eyes of a rhesus macaque are a bit in depth rather than whole of the body hence they don't reflect much of the light if not the light is falling directly on the face as their nose are protruded just outside they reflect a bit more light so what we going to do first is check up oh, sorry what we going to do first is to see that how shall we start the image the basic editing would start from adjusting the image overall so i will start with that i'm decreasing the highlights because the highlights the more highlight position is on the over here in the head and more on the background positions and less over here because these are the mid tones rather mid tones and a bit of highlights can be seen over here so i have decreased the highlights and i will pull up the shadows a little bit because if you put them put them more see this looks unnatural with a white faded tone so rest of the tone i will make it out from the selective brush and so this image rather i will decrease the whites a bit and some curves adjustment okay we are good to go now i will shift to the hsl adjustment so in the hsl adjustment see now the light is more on the background so i will try to pull it down the greens because those greens are mainly what the eyes are catching right now but we need to focus more on our monkey so pulling down the greens and just take care that there is no bending while you do this because most of the cameras will face this bending as we don't have i use a nikon d7200 hence i need to get be a little more careful about all these things okay so next i will saturate the yellows because you can see that the yellows are more on the monkeys and look at one thing this there is a border of desaturated color over here in the border line so this is more because of the saturation and the luminance adjustment of the greens you may notice it or may not because in the final image it won't get so much of uh, attention from the viewers okay i will adjust the hues of this image a little bit like pulling the greens onto more greener side and this over here looks good that's it nice. so now to the camera calibration part this actually helps in as we all know that rgb red green and blue are present in most of the colors over in this photo so what you can do this this exact panel helps you in adjusting every small notch of reds in all the colors that is present in the green you can adjust all the greens that is present all over the channels and blue goes for same so we will tweak all these sliders a little bit a little bit to make the photo a visual pleasure we are just right now adjusting the light and the colors that we want on our subject the rest of the background we can take care by using the radial tool here so okay let's see It's 
just got some magenta tones right over here i don't know if you can see it or not but it looks like so you can adjust that easily with the tint slider over here and something more desaturating the magentas a bit okay this looks nice all right so for the cropping part many of us do the cropping from here but i don't like it at all so i will open the image in the photoshop and here i'll make a copy of the layer most of the instagram photos are more on the 4 used to 5 ratio because this image this ratio actually takes a bit more space on your screen hence the hence it appeals more to the viewer this is what i would like it with all right next using my favorite slider the radial filter now i will just adjust the radial filter like that as if i will just tweak the outside lights and keep the inner exposure and colors intact now see if i do it like this only the outer part of the circle gets affected and the inner part that you see right over here is because of the feather that i have adjusted if you pull it down it will just be the circle but as just you want to make it smooth a gradual filter that's why you can keep it around 80 to 85 that's it that will be a better choice all right so we are good to go with this i like it let's pull down the highlights a little bit all right so this looks good now what we can do to add some more drama is we need to pull the eyes a little bit more exposed so i will use the brush tool over here my sliders are a little bit adjusted that's why you see it in a lower exposure all right let's reset it now the thing is that if you pull the exposure you get a non, non sudden artificial kind of light so you just pull it a little bit and then go for the shadows the shadows are the actual region where the eyes are hiding the eyes are in the shadows that's why it is creating such kind of effect now we pull down the whites and increase the texture a little bit okay that looks good to me now one more thing if i add another radial filter over here just like this and change the effect inside okay sorry <clears throat> now this is going to be a little bit different this is our image right now I increase the feather a little bit and a little bit of exposure this was just to make the light come from upwards now see if you look at the image right now it looks as if the light is coming right from here and it is falling on the face and the gradual lighting on the face is done all right now this part looks a little bit more exposed what i would do is i will try a little bit vignette no it looks unnatural okay you need you, you can use the graduated filter right over here just put it through always reset the local adjustments just tweak the slider a little bit over here that's it our final image gets ready